Let's go ahead and study along with me and Melissa Lucy, who is another YouTuber who wants an A this semester. Okay, let's get started. So atomic structure, so just understanding um, what's in an atom, you know, understanding how many protons, neutrons, and electrons there are, and being able to read it on the periodic table versus if they give you something known as um, an, an isotope notation. So let's just start off with that. So there's there's two different types, and I'll, and I'll send you the video um, <laughs> for where I actually took the screenshot from. Um, but what I want you to know, in an atom, there are protons, neutrons, and electrons, right? Yeah. We know that our protons are going to be positively charged, our neutrons are going to be neutral, and electrons are negatively charged. Good so far. So you're going to see two different types here, where this is known as our isotope notation, where the X just represents the element, it's the chemical symbol, and then A on top is going to be the mass number, and our mass number represents our protons plus our neutrons. Yes. And then Z is just the actual atomic number. Now, it's a bit reversed when we actually look on, on our periodic table. It shows up like this, where this is potassium, sure, and then here our atomic number is shown, and once again, this is this is just where how the periodic table shows the element. This is specifically known as our isotope notation. Okay, and then next, right here, this is not our mass number. That's actually going to be our atomic mass or atomic weight. So understanding the two differences there is going to be really helpful. I have seen different multiple choice questions just asking what's the difference. I did not realize that was different. Okay. Yeah. Wait, yes, I did know that. Okay, the atomic number and the mass number, is that what you're saying? No, the atomic mass and the mass number. So, okay. Yeah. Good so, <laughs> yeah. So, like this right here, right? This is an isotope notation where the mass number equals our protons, protons plus our neutrons. And then versus our atomic mass, which is found on the periodic table, like this version, right, is on our periodic table. Well, that's different. That's not the exact same thing. Like, why do we actually have more decimal places here? And there's a reason for that. So the reason for that is because our atomic mass, or it's also known as atomic weight, is an average of all of the masses of all the isotopes of that specific element. Now, what's an isotope? <laughs> now we have to kind of, you know, see all these different definitions. Do we know what an isotope is? Yes, I think I know. Um, it's basically like another um, like form of that element where it always has the same number of protons, but different neutrons. Beautiful. Yes, exactly. It's just a different version of the same element. That's really right. all it is. Okay. One thing to just look at is they're going to have the same protons, and then they're going to just have the, a different amount of neutrons. It's really important to know. And then that's why our atomic mass is going to change because there are different amounts of neutrons. Okay, so that, that's why we're gonna see different, uh, different isotopes having different amounts of like masses, different masses overall. And then the atomic mass is taking the average, so meaning we're gonna add all those up and divide by the total amount of isotopes that we have. And then that gives us a better uh, number for our atomic mass. So that's the, the difference there. So that's going to be important just to be able to explain or really, I, I see this as a multiple choice question. Okay. Next is going to be all of the formulas that you'll need for this. So I'd say these three formulas are going to be your best friend with this topic. Just knowing that your atomic number is going to equal the number of protons and the number of electrons. But this is only when it's neutral. So when we have something that is neutral, that means there's no charge. When something has a charge, it's called an ion. So I just want you to think of an ion is simply an element with a charge. That's all it is. Okay. Element with charge. So that's where it's gonna change. So your proton count and your electron count are going to be different when they when you actually do have a charge. So when there is a charge, um, there is a charge. The protons do not equal the amount of electrons. So that's something else to notice. Don't worry, we're going to have several examples here. 
I just want you to know when there is a charge, this really is just saying your, the number of protons do not equal the number of electrons. Yes. Cool. When it's neutral, they do equal each other. Right. All right. So I'd say let's just start doing some examples using uh, using these three formulas. Um, all right. So I'm just going to walk uh, help you through this one. So let's just look at uh, the first one. So it says give the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in the neutral atom. So okay, it told me that it's neutral. Now I want you to think, what is this telling me? This is in isotope notation. So what does that mean again? That is our number of protons. What is? Sorry. The 10 to the 5. The 5. Good. Keep going. Okay. Um, and the number of neutrons is also going to be 5, right? Because we do 10 minus 5. Beautiful. Yes. 10 minus 5 because we know our mass number is equal to protons plus the neutrons. Good. Yes. And then because it's neutral, then the electrons is also 5. Good. Perfect. What would 2 be? For 2, okay, I'm going to have to use my calculator. Um, so the number of protons is going to be 29. And then the neutrons is going to be 34. Perfect. And the electrons is also 29. That's it. Perfect. Okay. That's, that's great. I'm going to move on to something that maybe there is an ion, meaning maybe there is a charge, um, or maybe it's neutral. So let's just start off with number one. You have 34 protons, 45 neutrons, and 36 electrons. This is a little bit different. Now they're asking you what element is it? So what, what's the chemical symbol is what it's asking. How can you find that? I think I would look on my periodic table to find um, like 34, right? Perfect, yes, because okay. this tells me the atomic number. Yes. Okay, so it's, I don't have these memorized. I don't know what SE is. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, selenium. So, okay. yeah, SE, that's going to be, that's right. And then we're not done just yet. Does it have a charge? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, because the electrons are not equivalent, so it's going to have a charge of, um, I feel like this is the one that's backward. So would it be a negative two because there's two more electrons? So this is what you're, you can use uh, to help you out, this formula. So just seeing, you could even use the protons because that's the same exact number as the atomic number. So protons minus electrons is what we would do. Okay to get your charge. Got it. So protons minus electrons. Mm -hmm. So it is um, negative two. Yes. Minus electrons. Oh, so you don't even have to think about it if you just do it based on the formula, like whether it's backwards or not, and you, we know it's a negative charge. Correct. Okay. Exactly, just, just knowing that. So, and I'm gonna actually say it's two minus. That's just typically how you write it with the actual uh, either negative or positive after the number. Got it. Okay. So this would be, yeah, this is pretty much all you have to know is the charge is equal to our protons minus our electrons. Um, okay. Or, or how I had it before, which was the charge is equal to the atomic number minus the electrons. Same thing. Right. Okay. okay. What about the next one? Um... Oh, did I switch it up? Okay. Mm -hmm. So 50. Okay, it's I. <laughs> Good. How did you know that? Uh, I went to the periodic table. <laughs> Good. And then what, what did you use? Like oh, well, yeah. What's that called again? <laughs> the atomic number. Yes. Okay. Good. So our atomic number is 53 because that's the same as our protons? Yes. And then is there a charge? So we do protons minus electrons. You can never be too sure. Okay, negative one. <laughs> Good. 
Good. I'm just going to put a negative there, just representing that. So okay. you don't necessarily have to put one minus. It's really just represented with a negative sign. Got it. Cool. Okay. I think that is fine. Um, how do you feel about that one? For this time? Good. I'm glad that I know how to do the charge because before I didn't really understand it. So I was just looking at it and then saying it's like opposite of whatever you would. Got it. Like the difference, you know what I mean? Because you know how the other way that it's like um, two plus or something. Okay, let's let's do a couple more just just to, to make sure. Okay. Because I do want to do a couple of plus ones. Um, let's okay. see for positive charges. Um, actually, that brings me that brings me into to something else. Um, do we know what a negative charge is referred to, like the the term? Um. Like, wait, I think so. Is it cation or something? So it's it's opposite there. So oh, <laughs> and it's okay. Element with a positive charge is a cation. And then this is going to make it so much easier just looking at hey, there's a plus sign within the cation. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, I'll never forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you'll never forget it there. And then the opposite is an element with a negative charge is an anion. And then there's no trick there, I'd say. Um, yeah, there's no trick there. It's really just knowing that the cation here had that plus sign already in it as the T. But yeah, okay. just that little distinction. Um, once again, I can kind of possibly see that multiple choice questions might have a couple of these like terms, you know, definitions or whatnot. Um, but just in case. So let's keep going and let's do, let's do this one. So for this one, I'm going to have you write out how many protons we have, electrons and neutrons. Pause the video now and try these questions out and we'll go over the answers. So, and you want protons, neutrons, electrons. Yeah. So um, the atomic number is 13. So we know the number of protons is 13. Good. And then the number of Wait, why am I confused all of a sudden? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I just need to look at the other number. But it's like 26.98, so should I keep it 26 or round it to 27? Like the atomic mass on my period. Yeah, that one actually would have given you more. Uh, let's say that it's it's 27 as our as our mass. They would have to give you the actual amount of the the mass number in this case. Oh, okay, okay. So we're saying it's 27, so I'm going to do 27 minus 13, and then the number of neutrons would be 14. Yep. Okay. And then we do, I'm trying to remember what you said, The how you get the charge. Is it protons minus neutrons? So not neutrons. So if, remember, we don't want neutrons just because they're neutral, so they're not going to help us with the charge. What helps us with the charge is the actual charged uh, subatomic particles, so protons and electrons. So it'll, it'll be protons minus electrons for our charge. Oh, okay. But there's a but there's a charge. So oh, so now I have to do the <laughs> We have to work backwards, yeah. So now we have to work backwards. So if you write out the formula charge equals protons minus electrons. And then just plug in what you know. Okay. What do you mean like Exactly, yeah. We know the protons. We don't know electrons, so you can just put E. And now that's that's what we're solving for. We know what the charge is. It's a positive 3. You can even just put 3. And then we're going to set that equal to it. From there, we're going to do algebra. <laughs> I know. Okay, I, know. I should be good at this. <laughs> You're good so, so far. Good. Mm -hmm. And then get negative 10. Good. Almost there. Am I doing this right? You're doing it great, yeah. 
but it would it would be a negative one. Oh yeah, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> so then it's just ten. Exactly. So we have ten electrons. Exactly. That's it. Okay. Okay. That's uh, not bad. Right. So that that's just in case they were to ask you to go backwards. Um, let's see if there's any others. I'm gonna look and see since you're sharing your screen. Um, were there any on, actually, I think you said number eight, right? On your your uh, practice exam? Yeah, let me see that. Oh, yes. All right, go ahead and try that one. See, I didn't understand like exactly what this was saying. Like, what is 32P? So what do you think P represents? I'm assuming an element. <laughs> so I would say an atom of, Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, I read it as 32 protons, um, but but it's not actually showing the the lowercase p with the plus sign, which is the appropriate sign. Um, did he say that the 1.8 was just a typo? I just see it as a typo. Yeah, when I went over this with the tutor at school, he said the same thing. He's like, I think the 1.8 is a typo. So I think that we read it as... You know how, like, they do, like, the, um, like, I'll show you on here. Like, don't they normally go, like, or something? Right. So, I, I would say that's what it is, where that 32 is telling you the mass number. Right. Okay, okay. That's what that is. All right. So, let's try that then. So, I have to go find the P on here. Um, okay. And it's asking me how many electrons. So I'm just gonna put the thing up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it is a little bit different uh, with this one because they actually gave you the the mass number already. So remember that there's two different types. We have uh, what's actually shown on the periodic table, which is what you're showing right now uh, with that 30.97. And we have the isotope notation and they gave you an isotope. So that P-32 is telling you that it, it, is a t it is an isotope. It's a type of isotope of phosphorus. So how I want you to think of it th this way is remember isotope notation had what like on this? top? Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, okay. I Yeah, I was so confused at first. I, I think that's what he meant to put on the test. I think the formatting is just off. On like, yeah, I think you're right. Okay. It, it looks weird, but I think that's what he meant to do. All right, so then we'll go based on this. So it's just like in a different form, and so I feel like I forgot everything. <laughs> okay. What's on top, though? So, yeah, 32 represents what? 32 is our um, atomic mass. Our mass number. So remember, those are yeah. two different things. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Our, our, our mass number is protons plus neutrons. Our atomic mass is the average of all the isotopes. Okay, so this is not the average. This is the atomic mass this is, um, the, this is yes. the mass number. This is the mass number. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> okay, I know, it's confusing. This is the mass number of that specific isotope. Yes. Got it. <laughs> okay. So. What did the we, question ask? <laughs> what? I was like, what did the question ask again? <laughs> I know, it's asking for the number of electrons. So don't I have to find the protons and neutrons? Or I have to, oh. Yes. Good. Wait, isn't it just 15? That's all it is. Oh That's all it is. Yeah. I literally just spent so much time thinking about that. <laughs> but what, what would the neutrons be in this case if they asked? If they wanted to know, <laughs> um, it would, we would do 32 minus 15 and it would be 17. Yes. That's it. Okay. Cool. Okay. So it, it's just, they're gonna try to they're gonna try to trip you up, you know. It's dependent on like the different notations that they're gonna put. Um, but as long as you know the different notations and what everything represents, you'll be fine. Okay. Uh, was there any other one there? Like let's say nine. 
Nine's a good one. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. So, oh, I think for this one, we just go and we find number 11. Yep. And it's sodium. So it's automatically that. Cool. That's it. Just looking okay. at, yeah, the protons. And that's our atomic number. Um, cool. Was there anything, little things like number 13, the atomic number Z is the number of blank? Mm, yeah, I don't have that memorized. So is it A on top and then Z on the bottom or the other way? So it is A. It is AZ. So think of it like A through Z. Right. That makes sense. So that way I won't forget it. Okay. So it's like this. Looking back at your screen. Yeah. Okay. But what does Z represent? So Z would be the number of protons. Correct. And then A would have been the number of what? Um, or what would A represent? I'm sorry. Wait, why did it say the atomic number is Z? That's correct. So it's, it, I, I know, it, it's opposite of what you're thinking. You want A to be the, the atomic number, right? But that's actually oh, representing the yeah. mass number. Yeah, by, by A through Z, I just meant the notation, like how, how it has it. Right, right. Okay, I see what you're saying. I just like, I keep getting that confused now because they both sound so similar. <laughs> okay, um, so what was your question again? What is this? So what does, yes, what does A represent? So A would be the, um, the atomic mass? Other one, the mass number. Oh my gosh. So how many are there? Atomic mass, mass number. And then there's the atomic number. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting so confused. I wasn't confused. <laughs> okay. Hold on, so let's just, I'm just going to have you define them, or you can write it down, let's just define it, uh, what everything is, and that, that's going to help you. So just okay. knowing the atomic number, we know that's represented with Z. So do you want me to write this down? Yeah, so like just taking like little notes for yourself. So atomic number, you can say, you know, parentheses Z, and that's just the number of protons. Okay, and then the mass number, and then parentheses A, and then just write protons plus neutrons. So that's what we're talking about with the mass number. And then on the actual periodic table, so this is no longer in the isotope notation, like that X with the A on and Z, Instead, this is on the periodic table, that mass that has a specific um, like decimal place, right? More numbers there. That is the atomic mass or atomic weight. And that's the, the average of all of the isotopes for that element. Okay, I wonder if it would be helpful to go like this. And then, like, I'll just highlight to, like, relate the two. So it goes A, Z, mm -hmm. and then, so, like, that's there. Good. And then, on... Um, on the periodic table, now it's kind of, like, it's actually opposite, right? So, sure, the, the Z is now on top, and then we don't necessarily have a symbol for atomic... Mass. So I'll just put atomic mass. <laughs> yeah, you will see it um, as like AMU sometimes, and that just means atomic mass units. So just in okay. case they, they say AMU, like that just means atomic mass units. That's it. We're talking about the atomic mass. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense now. Yes. Okay, cool. I hope you're enjoying this series so far, and if you are, then leave a comment below and let me know how you're doing. If you need additional help, then you can find me here and on melissamaribald.com, and I'll see you in the next video.